A good morning to you and welcome to the newspaper review reaching you live from our studios at our impact television. I am Oyin Priye Krumale. Stories making the rounds on the front page of your newspaper this morning spans across COVID-19, a third wave that is ravaging the world and Nigeria has not been left out of that throat right here in the continent of Africa. Also, we got a new breakthrough. Well, that's, for, um, that's on the part of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, uh, Mr. Sheikh uh, has been released after spending quite a while behind bars from the Kaduna state in the northern part of Nigeria, still in security matters in the United States of America, lawmakers denying over $875 million fighter jets to the Nigerian government, citing uh, human rights abuses and the alleged role of the Nigerian government in the NSAS protest that took place right here in Nigeria. And during our discussion this morning, we will be taking a look at the Nigerian security uh, fighting terrorism in the country, taming criminality, and the effort of the government in trying to secure help from foreign nations and the human rights uh, activities that has been cited by the United States lawmakers in not trying to uh, approve the proposal, the final proposal for the sale of 12 AH fighter Cobra jets to the Nigerian government. These are a few stories we will be looking at this morning with our guests. Here we have been joined by uh, Mr. Oladak Boshone, he's a public affairs analyst. Even though we've taken a look at what's happening in the front page of the Punch newspaper. Good morning, Mr. Shunaya, and welcome to the newspaper review. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay. Now, uh, let's. The story that's in the front banner of the newspapers, it came out yesterday night, even though the Nigerian government uh, spokesperson, who did not actually name himself, come, he came out under the guise of anonymity to debunk the claim, said that uh, the information, Nigeria and the United States enjoy a good relationship. And this statement emerges from the fact that uh, the United States had denied Nigeria, the United States lawmakers had denied Nigeria the final approval for the fighter jets fighter that were jets. Supposed, we are expecting into the country to tame the scourge of terrorism. Uh, what's your take on it? Um, unfortunately, that is the situation. I even thought by now or by a um, few days we'll be having it and then we'll be celebrating that. Oh, okay. okay. So we have um, tools for us to combat this uh, insurgence. But unfortunately, that's a sad news there. But um, we cannot totally blame the party that is denying us. I want to believe that they must see very good reason why they are denying us. It, maybe we need to intensify and defend ourselves. What have we done wrong? that is causing them to deny us. So let's look at what we can do right, if it's possible for us to still make an appeal. It's just like when you take your case to court and you move from one level to the other. Even okay. if the judge passes the judgment, you can appeal until when you get to the final bus stop. So I'm not sure it's at the final bus stop. It can still be reviewed. So let's see if we can appeal as a nation. All right, um, so Mr. Shonaye, we were told that they cited human rights activities, the allegations, uh, and the government's role, most especially the alleged role of the government in the NSAS protests. Hmm. NSAS again. <laughs> yes. Uh, so how would you describe that? Um, the, the, the situation we have found ourselves, or the way the world is now, is that um, even um, what you can shield away from the face of the world is possibly what you, have, what you are doing in your bedroom. Even your compound, many of the things you are doing is, is in the open. And why? Because it has become a global village. So um, is it that the government come out to, to own up, to say this is the real situation? Because the whole world is where a lot as a time of the NSAS protest. Okay. So some of the things the observers and international organization and, and the international community have against us. So we need to speak up now. Is it correct? The, what they are saying, is that the way it is? Okay, so if we are debunking what they have against us, so what are Nigerians saying? Nigerians are the, um, the people this thing actually happened to, they were the ones involved in protests. Can we get them? Can they set their side? Is government corroborating what they are saying? If government is denying it, so what is the real story? Because like we used to say, if you don't tell your story, somebody will tell your story. So for us to be able to debunk 
what uh, the negative aspect um, or the role, the negative role that the international community believe that the government has played, especially the introduction of the military, you know, with the availability of the video and everything that we have over the social media. And I'm not sure that can be dramatized or make up or somebody is trying to um, read the script or play to the script or play to gallery. These are things that are real. So let government come out and say plainly to international community, and perhaps they will be able to consider. Some of those videos that... Uh, the image of okay. viral on social media. Some yeah. of them were not true. Uh, there was a lady who claimed to have been was claimed to have been killed by the gunshots coming from. No, the we are not officers. even talking about killing, yes. okay. but we're talking about the invasion of the military. Do, do we have military men invade the um, toll gates? Was that correct? That was correct. That was correct. Okay. So, it was, so the issue of Kenya is the secondary. The primary thing, the, you know, you can be in your house when you see uniformed people invade your house. Even if they did not harm you, they did not injure you, they did not harass you. For having them in your premises alone can cause that attack. Because you'll be wondering why without any prior notice and address. So that in itself, that in itself is evil. Okay, now let's look at it from a different perspective. Uh, different perspective. Uh, Way of communication, the NSAS protest, should there be, no one wants to have that kind of protest again because public assets went down the drain. So much. Now, you know, in, should in another case emerge where Nigerians will have to protest in any part of the country, what method of communication would you prefer that the government use in quelling down such protests? Okay, all right. Before we are talk about the government, let me, let me talk about rights. the um, um, those who want to protest. Now, if you want to protest, um, I think one of the things that is expected that you will have notified the police that this is going to happen. Not because they are going to um, protect you, but because they are going to be aware so that there will not be a breaking down of law and um, peace in everywhere. So that's fine. So once the, the law arm has been, that is appropriate for it, has been notified, then you can embark on your peaceful protest. Now, government shouldn't be afraid that people are protesting. I can assure you that if you have good policies, why should people protest? All of us, are, we have families. Don't we have children? Do our children protest what we do to them? If they protest, then you need to sit down and re-strategize. Or you have a dialogue. So if you give them, maybe you serve them food, they say, no, I don't want rice. It's beans. And you need to, and you think that rice is best for them, then you need to explain and convince them why that rice is not, it's not going to be false. So the same thing the government needs to do. So if people are protesting, you need to find out why are they protesting? What is the, the real issue? We don't learn. Unfortunately, that is the situation in Nigeria. It, it, this is not the first time they are protesting, only that this one went beyond the expectation. You know? So people are agitating, people are, are protesting. So what are they protesting for? So look at what the issue is, and then attend to the issue. Set up a committee that can review and holistic and involve the right people. That's also one of the problems we have. Most of the time, we want to set up a committee or want to review something with people who don't even have business with it. You make um, a graduate of agriculture to be a minister for, uh, for labor and all the rest. So that, you know, those are issues that we are having. So look at people who are supposed to actually do the proper review and come up with paper and be very sincere. So when they present it, make it open. What is the result or the conclusion of their review? That's, that's, and that's what the government should be doing. Okay. Now, uh, let's move away from this particular story. Um, since we, you, you are a communication expert, and uh, let's look at it from the perspective of communication, most especially uh, currently the e-transmission of a voter result. Uh, there's this impression that Nigerians are all gunning, or most Nigerians are gunning for uh, the e-transmission to, to prevail. Yeah. But uh, when the votes came out from the National Assembly, it went the other way around. So what, what's missing between Nigerians and uh, the lawmakers who represent them at the chambers? Um, I think one of the things we also need to do is when we people are agitating for the introduction of this, uh, evolution of this, um, let us set up this. Are we right for it? For instance, even the network we are using, we are having a problem with the network. So if we say, okay, we want to do a transmission, we want to do a election, are we really right? If we are right, all the instrumentality that will make this thing to work well, are they in place? 
So those are things we need to look at critically. And those who are lawmakers, are they being sincere? If they're denying us, we are saying, okay, we want this, and they think that it is not possible. So why is it not possible? For any denier or anything you say, it is not possible. You need to come out with reason. For anything I say, it is possible. I also need to lay the cards on the table. That's the way to look about it. We are very intelligent people. Because a lot of time when we have our people outside, the, outside Nigeria, we discover that they win our world, they are the best of this, first to do this and not the rest. So it means that we are actually intelligent people. So if we have a problem, we can solve it. If people are requesting for a transmission in legend, let's have it. If it's not possible, let's state it categorically. Why it is not possible? Okay, but still in, within the precincts of a communication, um, most times there's this argument or there's this allegation against lawmakers that they don't come to their constituencies okay. to uh, intimate their constituents on what's actually prevailing with regards to how they are being represented in the law chambers. And that most of them have been accused that they only come when there is time for Election. el elections. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, th that's why, is, is that true in your own constituency? It's true. Where okay. I live is true. Okay. And, and I remember even before where I live now, there was a time I was in Kenya, there was a guy that was representing us as a Lagos Affairs of Assembly. We were complaining because I was a party member as at that time in that party. We were complaining that this guy was not even coming to party meeting, let alone coming to his constituency to come and even talk. So, and before he knew it, when it was close to election, we, the youth had agreed that they were not going to return, we are not going to vote for him and address for the primary. By the time he came around, you know, he appealed, he said he has appealed to the party leaders and then he gave some people money. Honestly, I was shocked. When the same youth that we had that agreement and turned around and said, well, this is the candidate that's still presenting. That was one of the things that cost me to so pull out for it. So that was the situation we have. Even now, where I live, when has it come out to say he's having a meeting with people or uh, what, what, is the, what the, do you really want me to do there? Because you are representing us, so we need to tell you what we want you to do for us. But the people of the constituency, have they, uh, how do they register their discontent with the way those who are representing them in government is behaving? Um, you know they have constituency office. So sometimes you can, pre uh, you can take your complaint then and submit your complaint. But most of the time, those who submit complaint, do they even call them and say, come, I've received your this and this is what we're going to do. Or let us dialogue. This is the issue this person has brought. So let's call the CDs. Let's call key people in this community or in this constituency to have discussion. Do they do that? No. Only very few. I know that I can mention very well that I know I've had I'm not in that constituency, but I've heard that she does. I wish she's remitting the book. There are a lot okay. of times she comes no, back to her, you know. Okay, you know. we're not going to mention political parties. No, 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 not party, no. Now, so. let me uh, still look at it. The local government elections just, just uh, concluded, concluded recently. Yes. You sound like your grassroots person. Yeah. Uh, how would did you, your observations from the elections? <laughs> that, that election is, is, let me say, it has been concluded from the, um, before the election. That's just the way how it do is. you mean? First, the primaries that some a major party in Lagos State, if I take for instance I conducted, were not free and fair. People had a lot of complaints. The party members wanted different candidates. Then the party leader wanted different candidates. This is very simple. Whatever candidate you want and this group wants, just test them, test their popularity, let people vote, and then they voted for a different candidate from the um, different from the party leader's candidate, and then decide protest and then they turn it. Unfortunately, there's a clause that empowered the party leader to, to appoint. And before you know it, they were using their own candidate, not the candidate majority of the people wanted. So that has been concluded. And then unfortunately, we didn't have other Let, parties conducting. We didn't have, uh, yes, that's what I'm okay. leading to. We didn't have other parties contesting during this election. Check the ballot paper, how many parties presented candidates? Maybe two or three parties. And we are saying we are only multi-party system. That's not multi-party system. Because we should be having up to about seven, ten candidates contesting for the same post. So the, the, that has been determined already. But it's the discretion of different political parties to present candidates. If they don't have, they don't have no, to I present don't believe. any. For you to know that, like in the state election or um, um, a national election, you discover that you have many of these parties present candidates, even if they won't win. So it is keenly contested. But this local government that they just concluded, okay. no, Let's they have such. Let's talk about reforming the local government system. In terms of reforming the local government system, what would you propose? Well, no, number one, the, the power also have to come to the local government. 
and then the 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 party system we are operating they should allow people to take the decision so especially at the primary level people want this candidate let it be because when we are able to pick our candidate we are able to control that candidate you are able to influence the decision that candidates because we want our decision to be reflected in what policy they want to be formulating. But if we are uh, the candidate that says, no, our candidate, how can he carry out what we want? It will just, do you know that some chairmen of local government don't even stay in their accounts? They don't even live within the local government they are controlling. They live outside. Some even live outside the state and they are controlling this, uh, the lo local government within the state. Well, that's, that's rules, that's false. They cannot work. That's the truth. How do we feel my pain when you are not within my community? Now, when we talk about reforming the local government system, there's discussion about the allocation to the local government. Yes, uh, that's right. That's uh, what the, the local I said government, the power should come to the... the local government service commission when it yeah. comes to um, recruiting people to carry out projects at the head of society. Yes. Now, most of the time, when local government carry out uh, projects at the head of society, they are said, it is said that they are not the ones formulating the policy to carry out those particular projects. It's being handed to them. What's your take on that? No, no, no. They, they should be the one to. And that's also one of the things I said, giving the power to the local governments. Allow them to formulate their policies. They are the one in the system that they want to determine how it should be, and not the national, not the state. So leave them. They are the grassroots people. They are closer to their, they are expected to be closer to their people. So they are the one to be the major determinant of what takes place. So it shouldn't be the state law or the national law that, that determines what takes place within the local government. Okay, let's talk about fund generation. Okay. The local governments are not generating funds, and they run to the federal, to the state government or the allocation from the federal government. They just wait for that each time. Why is that? Uh, is the way the system is, honestly. Um, in the in the business world, competition is allowed. Big organization like your own TV stations, we have other TV stations. You even have one that will start maybe tomorrow. And is allowed, and everybody is in the business to survive. If the state is generating fund, the federal is generating fund, local government can also generate fund. How do they generate fund? There are a lot of things they can do to generate fund, and they, so the government should allow. There should be a law that okay. empowers that allows let's, that let's generation. Let's talk about that. Fund. But there is a law that permits local government to generate funds from uh, bus parks. Yes, uh, all this TV and, uh, something they are doing. And yes. uh, alcohol, the permission to sell alcohol in the several beer parlors they have in, at the local level and uh, other avenues Sometimes for you revenues. In some why state, why is it that the local government is so uh, disempowered or they don't enforce it to collect the funds from that level? Some of them have been accused that touts, motor park touts, collect I jack, those particular yes. I jack it. Why do you think we have that trend? Uh, uh, it's because they know there is one money somewhere that is coming huge from the state or for the federal government. If it is not there, and they, they have to run the local government, and they have to survive, and they have to be accountable, then they will rely on it. You know, internally generated fund for every organization, when you know that you don't have any fund externally, then you will do what you need to do to generate that fund internally. That is one of the things that will make them to be very responsible. But because they know that there's one money that is coming somewhere, and that's why they are not relying on it. And unfortunately, um, the people they have recruited to generate funds are also, like you have mentioned, tout. You need to drive outside your state to get to some state and see the way they, they, will, they, will, they will sweep on you because they want to collect local government um, 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 money or whatever, whatever levy they are playing. You'll be, uh, you'll be so harassed. Sometimes you'll be so embarrassed. And you ask yourself, and I'm a Nigerian, in this Nigeria, people will be dragging at you. And, you know, they go to any land. They can remove your you know, side mirror or do whatever thing because they want to collect that money. So many are harassed. If that's like the that. case, then we could uh, take it's possible for people to take side with the state, some states' governments who uh, hand over peanuts to local government because local government doesn't seem to possess the, the wherewithal to be able to get their monies that has been allocated or given the rights of which the have been given to them to, to, to source to, for money to source or to generate. Money. Yes, that means... Uh, they, well, I won't support the issue of giving the local government peanuts because let's look at it this way. If you have a child that is growing, that is living within you, that is yet to be an adult, you are responsible for that child. But they are not, they've not been able to take advantage of their constitutional... 
uh, authority yes, to get the money. That That's also part of the thing we need to look at. So, you know, when we set up laws, they, there is implementation of the law, there is the monitoring of the So who are those who are supposed to supervise or monitor? Are we properly, are, okay, we have seen that the implementation is like zero or is not properly being handled. So who is supposed to do the check? When we are able to do that, and then we also come back to the issue of recruitment, are they recruiting the right people? Look at the way you are dressed. So will you go to the main road and be fighting and be harassing people? Do you understand? So the, the, some of the people they also recruit, who are they? They need to also recruit and empower the right people so that when they are talking about how to generate funds, the way they will talk about it will be appealing to you and you will see reason why you need to pay that money. And then they will be able to get money. And that's also an aspect they need to, they need to use. Look. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shunaye Oladayo. Oladapo. Oladapo. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Now, many thanks for joining us this morning. I want to say a very big thank you again to uh, Mr. Shunaya for his time this morning in the newspaper review. And that's it on the review this morning. Off again to the Teal Coffee Studios to join a day and a mobile day. Good morning.